Welcome to Maddie and Me. The beach struggle is real. Have you tried going to the beach with your baby yet? We have twice. Twice, guys. First time, our beach adventure was a beach fail. We still had fun, but it was definitely a beach fail. It was July 4th, super windy out there in Santa Monica. Our umbrella we brought did not work. No shade for the baby. Baby was only a couple months old. Can't have that baby getting sun. So we had to makeshift a tent. It came out okay. It came out okay. But it was also super, super windy there. It was probably a little too windy for her to really, really enjoy the beach. Especially without like a little tent. So yeah, that was like, okay, we need to get on that and get a tent. I had a big mama fail because I didn't bring her an extra change of clothes. I didn't bring her a hoodie. We needed it. It was chilly out there. I didn't bring her any toys to play with. What was I thinking, guys? What was I thinking? Second beach trip, though, just this past weekend. Success because we totally did it right. We totally had a checklist of everything that you need when you go to the beach with a newborn. Beach tent. We bought one of those pop-up tents. Amazing, guys. Amazing. Amazing. We brought toys for her. We brought an extra change of clothes to change her out of her bathing suit at the beach. That was key because girl was getting a little restless at the end there and didn't want to be in her bathing suit anymore. We brought chairs. Yeah. Last time we brought one chair, which was fine. This time we went and we got like really good beach chairs because you need them, guys. You need them. Also, we were able to like prop her up on it so she could sit on in the tent and that was perfect. Perfect. We brought extra milk, guys, because you need extra milk for your baby. I was able to breastfeed her in the tent, which was awesome, but I also had a bottle of milk and extra milk for her. A beach hat, guys. You need a beach hat for your baby, no matter what. You need a beach hat for your baby. We have a great one. Right now, it's a little bit too big for her, so we put a little bow on it so it stays on her head. A rash guard. Right now, your baby can't wear sunscreen if it's four months old until it's over six months. So having a rash guard is awesome, especially once your baby gets more acclimated to the beach. Like, our baby's still not like, our baby's not chilling in the sand yet, you know, because she can't sit up completely on her own. She's not running down into the water yet. You want a rash guard, guys, for your baby. You want a rash guard so you don't have to worry about the sun as much. For yourselves, Don't forget to bring yourselves food and plenty of water. You got a baby. You don't want to be going and grabbing disgusting food at the snack bar or forgetting food altogether. You want to have those snacks so when your baby is enjoying it and once I would can't wait till our baby can sleep at the beach, she wasn't right there yet. But you have snacks for yourself. You have snacks for yourself and you don't forget what you need. Optional. An umbrella. We don't have an umbrella because we have the tent and right now we didn't feel like we really needed one yet. The tent was perfect for her, perfect for her, but that's optional on our checklist. We'll probably get one later, guys. Probably get one. There are so many things to think about when you're bringing your baby to the beach. The first time I thought we had it all covered and we did not. We forgot like everything, guys. Second time, so much better. We're going to vacation by the beach in Martha's Vineyard for a week next month can't wait we're super super prepared to rock it even more maybe she'll like to go in the water where it's warm because she did not like this cold pacific ocean water she squealed it was adorable comment below let me know what your first beach experience with your baby was like yeah kids yeah welcome to maddie and me